Hey everyone, this is Blake here with Gorilla Desk, and I'm super excited to tell you all about our Route Optimizer add-on. The Route Optimizer will help you quickly optimize your schedules and streamline your routes. The basic plan comes with an optimizer which uses proximity to route rather than actual streets for directions. The Pro plan includes our Drive Matrix Power Up, which will provide routing results utilizing streets and drive time. The Drive Matrix includes 2,500 connections with your Pro plan per month. And we'll get a little bit more into detail with what a connection is in just a moment. Uh, but while we're here, this is where you can also view your connection usage for this month and for the last month. Now let's take a look at our calendar and we'll jump into the Route Optimizer. In the upper left corner, you'll see the Optimizer icon here. So if we click, that'll open up the Route Optimizer. At the very top, the first thing you'll see is the Drive Matrix, the feature we talked about briefly before. But just to reiterate, with the Drive Matrix enabled, this will provide smarter logic utilizing actual street routing and drive times. Okay, so each time you optimize a route, it will require a certain number of connections. And you might be wondering, what is a connection? Gorilla Desk equates a connection as a logic jump to determine the best possible route using street data. A single day's route will usually require one or two connections to, to construct that route. Routing more advanced or complex routes will require more connections to complete your route optimization. When setting up your routing preferences, the system will provide you with an estimated amount of connections before you process the optimization. This way you can see how many connections are used before utilizing them. 2,500 connections are provided on your pro plan and will refill every month. Now let's take a look at the parameters when setting up the route optimizer. Right here is where you can set the jobs within, and that will list any jobs scheduled on your calendar within the state range. So in this case, we'll optimize just this one day. Okay, so these are all the jobs scheduled. You can filter the optimizer by status. So the different job statuses here are unconfirmed, confirmed, reschedule, pending confirmation, and pending booking. The work time is essentially your business hours, and the route optimizer will schedule the, job, the jobs within these hours. The drive buffer is the amount of time in between each job. If you're using the drive matrix, that will incorporate the actual drive time to give you the most precise results. However, you can still use a fixed drive buffer that will be based off of proximity rather than actual drive time. However, that will not require any connections. You can set the certain number of stops per day, or you can set to autofill, in which case it'll fit as many jobs as it can within your business hours. Optimize to will be the date your optimized jobs will start. You'll then have the option to start from the closest job, the farthest job, or from a specific job on your calendar. You'll have the ability to exclude weekends or specific weekdays. And you'll set your starting and ending address, which are essentially the beginning, uh, where you'll begin your day and where you'll end your day. Below, you'll also have the ability to set the distance type to miles or kilometers. Okay, so now it's time to see this in action. We'll see here, based off of our route, that this will require two connections. Okay, so we'll go ahead and optimize our route. And just like that, we'll have our starting address. And with the drive matrix, it's showing the actual drive time in between each stop to give you the most accurate results. On the right, we're seeing a preview in a list view. However, you can still see a preview in the calendar view by clicking here. And you can see a map preview here as well. So you can see your route before you finalize and accept your brand new route. If everything looks good and you'd like to accept, you can go ahead and accept a new route. In this particular case, we optimized our jobs to start from the closest job and work away. So this actually looks great. We're going to start from the first job here, and that will take us away. 
and then back, and we'll finish back at our start and end point. So since this looks good, I'll go ahead and accept my new route. I would like to mention that once you accept a new route, this action cannot be reversed. And since many of these are recurring services, you'll have the option to move these jobs only or these jobs in all recurring. So in this case, we'll move these in all recurring. OK, and just like that, we optimize that route, put them in the most efficient order, and they're appearing that way on our calendar. Okay. Uh, if you guys have any questions, you can always reach us at 855-536-7470, and we'd be more than happy to help. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care.